for this electric guitar part, I don't think Kenny uses um, a capo when he recorded this uh, in the studio version. But live, he plays with the capo. And uh, that's kind of how I learned it. So I'm going to show you it with the capo. And if you want, you can transpose the notes because it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a simple tune. A lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan type licks in it. Um, and if you put the capo on, you got it, you're halfway there. Throw on a phase shifter. You want to have your strat with the pickup selector just off of one. What I want to do is play the electric guitar part for you that he recorded. Again, we got his phase shifter on. We're in that uh, second position from the bottom. And um, what I'll do is play it kind of like the electric guitar does on the recording and add some of the um, embellishments that the electric guitar does underneath uh, the acoustic guitar on the recording, especially when they go into the chorus. So here we go. <laughs> So to start out with, we're going to slide from the 12 to the 14 on the 4th uh, string. And then we're going to hit 12 on the 3rd uh, string. Come back to 14 on the 4, and then we're going to take 14 on the 3rd, hammer on to 15, and pull off to 14, and then we'll strike 12. So it'll sound like this all together, and I'll do it slow. One, two, three. Then we're going to hit 14 on 4, back to 12, and hold that 12. So kind of dig into those strings and make that ring. And then just slide down on 14. The next lick, what he's doing is he's hammering in from 12 to 13 on the second string. And then he's going to do another hammer on, but this time a pull off back to 12 on that second string. And then hit 12 on the third string. So together. And these are kind of a common lick throughout this song. Uh, he switches between G major and G minor pentatonic. So if you can play those scales, um, you can play this song. We're going to hammer in from open to the second fret on the second string, but we're also going to strike the first string at the same time, doing a double step. And then hit them open. So and Then we're going to do a hammer on and pull off from the first to the second, back to the first string on the... I'm sorry. <coughs> Then we'll do a hammer on and pull off on the third string from the first to second back to the first fret. Catch the fourth string at the um, fourth fret. Then where your pinky is on that fourth fret, you're going to slide up to that position with your first finger on the fifth string and go four, five, six with just a hammer on. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're doing the typical E to F sharp minor uh, 11th to uh, G sharp flat 6th. Okay, when he goes into the, and it gets back to the F sharp, so those chords follow throughout the verse. When he goes into the chorus, we're going to go to E to F sharp. Now he's going to do kind of a Hendrix thing, and again, because we're capoed here, 
we're going to want to um, take the third string and we're going to hit it, hammer on, and then hammer on and pull up, and then strike the uh, fourth string. So that's from two to four to uh, four on the fourth. Then you come to the next chord. Then it goes to an A. And this A is just... Okay. So he's playing his A, the top half of it. So you cover that uh, first and second string, then you bring it up on the third and fourth, and you're going to use your pinky on the third string. together keep doing that okay and then he just goes up from the A to B and then this is my last goodbye when he does that he starts the first half of the lick, just like the acoustic guitar did, we're going to hammer on from open to two. Slide from the first fret to the second on the third string. Then he slides up from 12 to 14, just like the intro light. Okay, we're going to slide to 14 on the fourth string, catch 12. Then we're going to take 14 on the third string and just bend it up, rather than use our pinky to hammer on and pull off and then back to 12 so you can do this on the acoustic if you can reach up high enough and and these embellishments sound good on the acoustic too if you're doing just an acoustic version first lick of the lead uh, we're going to take our uh, pickup selector all the way down turn on a tube screamer for some distortion and it'll sound like this Okay, so what we're doing is we're hitting 13. Now we're giving it a bend, a full bend up and vibrato, and then we're going to hit it and release it again. Then we go to 11, that's on the second string, to 12. Okay, and then the typical Stevie Ray lick, we're going to hit 12 twice again. And then we're going to hit 11 on the second string to 13 back to 11. So you can hear how that rings in there. So again. Next lick at speed. So what he's doing there is we're coming basically back up to the first position of the G minor uh, pentatonic and we're going to because we're using the capo, we're going to go from open to the um, fourth string. So we're going to go open one to open two. So we'll go from the open first to the open second string, and then we'll grab four and push that up for a whole bend and hold that. Then we're going to do kind of that same thing again. But then we're going to go back uh, from the open to four to open on the second string. And then we're going to take the uh, third string at the second fret and bend that up. And then go to the second and first string. Kind of a Chuck Berry thing. So we got this so far. Let's take it from the very beginning. One, two, three. Once we reach that open first string, we're going to go backwards. We're going to take four to open on the second string. Then we'll take the third string at the second fret, bend that up and release it to open. And then end up on the uh, third fret of the fourth string. Okay, that's the second lick. 
Then the next part of the lick, it really gets kind of um, hard for me to hear what he's doing. I think he's doing double stops on the second and third string, kind of bending them up. And then hitting the third string at the uh, second fret. So, so just kind of jam along right in that, uh, that pentatonic scale. And then he's going to switch right at that point. Coming to the uh, G uh, major pentatonic, so we're in the second form of it. Okay. Again, it, it's kind of hard to distinguish because it gets real muddy. So again, I would use one. I'm sorry, open third to first. And then open second to uh, second, and then open one, and then the first string open to uh, second fret. So that next lick goes like this. So we're going to go from 16 on the 3rd string to 15 and 17 on the 2nd. And then hold 15 on the 1st. Then we hit 17 on the 2nd. And then we're going to hit 17 on the 1st and bend that up. Then hit it again and bend it a full bend and release. To 15 and then come 17 to 15. So we have this so far. Now we're going to move, we're going to just take this to the minor pentatonic and go 18. So we're bending 18 a full step, then 18 a half step to 15. And to end the lick off, we're just going to kind of do a walk down. We're going to go from the second uh, string at the second fret to open, okay? And then we're going to go to the third string, and we're going to go from one to open. Then we're going to go from the fourth string from three to open to um, the fifth string and we'll go from five to open and then we're going to just take five and slide up to um, then we're going to take the fifth string and just slide from two to four so it'll sound like this That's pretty much the whole song so play along with it and don't worry too much about getting the leads exactly correct I think it's more of a feel thing he never plays it the same way twice so so again don't get too hung up on those uh, licks uh, that's kind of what he does if you know some Stevie Ray Vaughan licks throw them in there that's where he gets them from and uh, G major pentatonic G minor pentatonic and uh, play the song make it yourself enjoy the embellishments and uh, I hope that helps.